I borrowed your bag again. You got some fancy bags. I'll be using yours a lot. <laughs> what? Are you talking about my Chanel bag? That's a gift from my mom. When did you take it? While well, you were out, I guess. I know exactly where you leave your bags. You'll do that for me, right? What are you talking about? Taking away someone's belongings while they're out? I can't believe it. So what? Would you let me use your bag if I asked you? It depends, but... You see, that's why I'm using it on my own. It's not like I'm saying give me one, so it should be fine. I just wanted to use it for my trip to Hawaii. What? Are you taking it with you to Hawaii? Make sure not to get it stolen, okay? Don't let your guard down. It should be fine. I'm just going there to see my boyfriend. He's so handsome. <laughs> what? Uh, what do you mean? Aren't you supposed to go there with your husband? No way. Why would I ever spend my day off with him? I'm gonna have a lot of fun there. What the hell? Does your husband know about that? Nah, I didn't tell him. You're not my real family, so don't say anything stupid, okay? You know, it's been a while since I last saw him, so I'm getting hyped for it. So I thought I should take something fancy with me. Isn't bringing a high-end bag kind of tacky for that? He's gonna think you cost a lot. What? Apparently, he makes a lot of money. So I should be dressed apart, right? Um, I don't know, you're just trying to show off, but... You know what's a crime? You doing this without your mom knowing anything about it. She'll be very sad. She hates people like that. Like I said, I'm not telling her about it. She wouldn't know unless I tell her. You can support me, right? Nah, I don't want to get involved in this. I'm not going to do anything about it, but... I'm still in my 20s, you know. How can I not play around? So you can understand me a little bit, right? Um, I don't see how your age helps you do that. You got married because you decided not to play around, right? Cheating can't be right regardless of your age. Ew, come on, what are you saying? I thought you would understand me. Is there anything else I can help you with? I can't let you use any of my fancier stuff. I can't do that. I'm not asking for that kind of stuff. I'm simply saying that I want you to give me some money. What? Why are you asking me? If I ask my husband, he'd definitely know I'm cheating on him. Having said that, I can't ask my parents for help. You're the only one that knows my secret. So I'm begging you, lend me some money. No, I'm not gonna do that. Money could destroy our relationship. So don't rely on me. What? Then I'm gonna sell this bag, okay? I guess I can make some money out of this. What? What are you saying? If you do that, I'm gonna give you a black eye. Didn't I tell you that it's a gift? If you don't like that, lend me some money. 10,000 bucks should be enough. 10,000 bucks? How much are you gonna spend? Of course. It gets expensive, okay? 
I can easily spend that money. There's no way I can lend you that much. I don't think you'll give that money back to me anyway. You don't work or anything, do you? I can handle that. I can find a job online anyways. I'll think about it after getting back. I can't trust you. Anyway, I'm not lending you any money. If you ever sell that bag, I will tell everything about this to your mother. Wow, okay. I wish you were nice enough to lend me some. We're family. Why are you so mean to me? You said I wasn't involved earlier. Don't blame me if you get in trouble. Make 10,000 bucks on your own. A couple of days later. I had such a good time today. I'm so glad that my son got married to someone like you. Thank you for such a nice meal too. Thank you for making me meals every time. My pleasure. My husband and son have fun every time you come to see us, so I'm happy too. It's always a pleasure having lunch and dinner with you. I'm glad you say so. But if I'm bothering you, don't hesitate to tell me. I don't want to get in the way of anything. No, it's fine. I'm sorry to have you come all the time. We're going to go and visit you some other time. Yeah, I'll welcome you anytime. Every time you come, my husband works very hard to clean the house. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that too. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's adorable. Compared to you, Janice and her husband don't let me know what's going on. Her husband seems unfriendly. So I can't help but to see you as my real daughter. I'm glad that you say so, but I want to get along with Janice and her husband too. Right, there was a time when I was actually thinking so. The other day she took some money from my house. On top of that, she didn't tell me anything about it. I thought someone snuck into the house, so it was a little bit of a problem. What? Is that for real? I can't believe it. Even if it's her home, Dad was very upset by that. I got disappointed too. After that, I couldn't think of treating her nicely. Well, yeah, that's right. That's too much. Even if you're her real mother. She could have said something. Well, that's it. I'm quite older than you, but you can come to see me if you like. Sure. You've been helping me raise my son a lot. I appreciate you a lot. Aw, oh, thank you. You're welcome. So, I'll excuse myself for today. Have a good night. Aloha. I got to Hawaii. I'm enjoying myself a lot. Okay, good for you. Did you see your boy toy? About that, I apparently got tricked. He said he'd come to pick me up at the airport, but he hasn't answered my text yet. I had nothing to do, so I decided to have plenty of fun on my own. What? So you're just gonna find another guy? Exactly. There's many other handsome guys here. I'm fine, as long as I can hang out with a handsome guy. <laughs> Though I haven't found one yet. So, how did you make enough money to have plenty of fun? That's a good question. Actually, I'm going on a trip with my family with your credit card. I've already spent $30,000, but it should be fine, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get you a souvenir. Just as I thought. Look carefully at the name on it, okay? What? The name on it? Why? That's not my name, is it? Wait a sec. 
What's going on? My mom's name is on it. Yep. What? How come? The other day when I went to your house, I got this card from your wallet. Why was my mom's card in there? That wasn't my wallet. Huh? What do you mean? The day before you came to my house, your mom stayed in my house. When she went home, she left her wallet at my house. It was on the floor, so she didn't notice. So I was keeping it for her. What? Wait, for real? That wallet wasn't yours, but it was my mom's? Yes, right? I didn't think you'd come to my house. I kept her wallet so everyone can see that. Your mom said she was coming to get it back. No way. So, I have been spending $30,000 with my mom's credit card? Well, that's right. So she kept on calling me earlier. She said her credit card has been stolen. All the records were from Hawaii, so I thought it must have been you. What? My mom kept trying to call me. Is that because of that? I've been ignoring her. Why didn't you answer the phone? Um, you know what? I thought she was gonna yell at me or something. Okay. You took 1,000 bucks from their house without telling them. But they know about it. Ugh, does she know that? She always tells everyone. You shouldn't do something you don't want others to do to you, right? Well, you're right. Did you think that's the reason why she called you? I couldn't think of any other reason. Oh, I screwed up. Oh my god, she's gonna kill me. Yep. She said she doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. So you can't rely on your parents from now on. What? For real? That's too much, don't you think? I'm their real daughter, okay? That might be true, but a true daughter wouldn't steal their parents' money and run with it. They were already very disappointed the first time. But you even spent $30,000 with her card without telling her. Every parent would want to cut their ties with someone like you. Because I didn't know it was hers. I thought it was yours. Then I thought it should be fine because you're rich. That's not the problem here. Why would it ever be okay to spend other people's money? That's just theft. Don't ever come back. This is what your mom and dad said. What? Are they both seeing this chat? Yeah, they saw the whole text. They texted me just when they came to my house. What? Hold on. How much do they know? They know that you went to Hawaii to hang out with a guy. They know everything. By the way, your mom told your husband about this. I wonder if you've got a place to live. Wait, that's too cruel. All right, I'm going back right now. By the way, she stopped her credit card. So if you want to come back, good luck. No one's on your side now. Why don't you get some guy to pay for it? <laughs> don't say that. I just made a mistake. I'll apologize, so forgive me. You can't do anything about what you've done. She said she's going to call the police. Your husband is going to get divorced and sue you. Get ready when you come back. <laughs>After that, according to the rumors, she asked some strangers to give her some money. And she saved up enough to get back. But as Mary said, no one was on Janice's side. She had to go through a tough time. I don't know what she was thinking. But she definitely isn't going on a vacation anytime soon.
Hey, Lisa, do you have a minute? I want to ask you something. Oh, hi, Brody. How was work? You said you had to work overtime this whole week, right? Aren't you busy today, too? Are you okay? I'm okay, but never mind that. Lisa, where are you right now? What? Now? At home, as usual. Don't I always tell you? I'm always patiently waiting for you to come home. I'm such an admirable wife. Oh, you always do that. Even when I work late, you always wait at home for me. Obviously. I'm your wifey. Even though you married into my family, we're happily living together, just the two of us. I'm really happy with my life with you. I used to be happy too. I wonder if we would have been happy forever if I didn't know this. What? What happened all of a sudden? Have you started writing poems? No. Lisa, are you hiding something from me? Hiding something? Um, I wonder what it is. Oh, could it be that I ate your yogurt while you were saving it in the fridge? Are you still mad? What? I'm sorry, Brody. I was just a little hungry. I couldn't help myself. But I went to the store and bought some lots of more after that. Don't be so mad at me. Do you really think I would nag you about that? What? That's not it? Then I wonder what it is. I can't think of anything else. It's about the person you're with right now. Huh? You're not at home right now, are you? You're meeting a guy, right? What are you talking about? What's gotten into you, Brody? Are you being delusional? Are you worn out from work? Of course not. I've been lying about working late all week. I was finding out information so I could catch you cheating. What? Brody, you were lying to me? That's horrible. That, that's not the problem right now, is it? You were lying to me and cheating. And that's the first thing that comes out of your mouth? Not an apology? Uh, no, that's just... Because you lied to me and said you were working late. You too. You said you were waiting at home for me every day. But you were having a relationship with another guy. Now you want to blame me. Well, I did nothing wrong. I was lonely. You were lonely. So you think that gives you the right to do whatever you want. Well, not really. I'm um, sorry, Brody. There really was a time back when you were too busy with work to pay attention to me. I felt lonely. Huh? Just because you're lonely, it's okay to cheat? No, it's not. I'm really sorry, Brody. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. I've really learned my lesson. So please forgive me. Fine. But you really hurt me. So it can never happen again. Of course. I'm really sorry, Brody. It's fine. You apologized. I just want to move forward from here. Thank you. I've chosen to live my life from now on only for you. I'm going home now. Let's have dinner together, okay? Yeah, let's do that. I'm already home, so you be safe. Okay. Then I'll see you at home. Lisa? Hey, Lisa, are you out somewhere? Oh, hey, Brody. How is work? Sorry, I'm going to be gone for a few days. What? What do you mean, gone? You never said anything about that. Yeah, I know. A good friend called this afternoon out of the blue. She asked me if I wanted to go on a trip with her. So I'm on a trip with her. That's really sudden, don't you think? That's a little... Brody, are you mad? I know, going on a trip all of a sudden... You're always working so hard. Sorry. No, I'm not bl blaming you for going on a trip. I'm talking about not telling me anything. Like texting me if you decide on going on a trip. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I just got a little carried away with getting ready for the trip. 
I wasn't thinking about you at all. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize that much. By the way, who are you traveling with? If it's a good friend, they came to the wedding, right? Yeah, um, they actually didn't come to the wedding. They had plans that day. Oh, well, it's a girl, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Brody, are you doubting me again? No, it's not like that. I just thought I would check. I hope you have fun on your trip. Thanks, Brody. I knew you would say that. I'm sorry, I can't do the housework for a few days. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm tired from the day, so I'm going to sleep. Oh, of course. Sorry. I'm going to eat now, too. Good night. Hey, Brody. I'm coming home tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing you. When you say you're looking forward to seeing me, you don't really mean that, do you? Isn't it true that you don't want to come home? What? What's wrong? Wait, did you get lonely because I wasn't there? You were cheating. Cheating. What? B Brody, why all of a sudden? What do you mean cheating? Hate to say it, but I checked your laptop. The conversations with your secret lover and the booking confirmation emails. A lot of evidence came out. What? Wait, you looked through my laptop? So you don't deny it. So it's confirmed, you were cheating. <laughs> so what? It's fine. You got the privilege of getting married to me. I got the privilege? What's that supposed to mean? You married into this family. You get to take my dad's company one day. You should let the cheating slide one or two times. Cheating slide one or two times. <laughs> what the heck? Since I'm the son-in-law, I should just forgive you and your cheating? You don't want to be my dad's successor? You get to be the president of such a big company. I get to marry my dad's favorite, and you get to become the president. I think that benefits the both of us, doesn't it? So don't make such a fuss over my cheating. Just leave it alone. What kind of attitude is that? So that's your real personality. You're the dumb one who hasn't figured it out until now. Oh gosh, it was really exhausting playing the good girl. You used to listen to everything I said in the beginning. But recently you've been such a pain. You'd ask me about my affair. Of course I would. My own wife is cheating on me. Son-in-law or not, it doesn't matter. Um, don't you understand? If I break up with you, your path to being president is cut off. You might not even be able to stay in my dad's company. That's okay with you? So now you're going to threaten me? Oh my god, you're so cute. You just do as I say. You do as I say, and just stay quiet. If you do that, your future is secured. You can handle that, can't you? I I've had enough. It was stupid of me to try to reason with you. Yep, just stay quiet like that. From now on, what to do? I will get a divorce. You just try not to let that happen, okay? Hey, Brody. You're finishing up work now, right? Text me back as soon as you get this. I just finished. Oh, great timing. I hate to break it to you, but my boyfriend is over right now. <laughs> so can you not come home today too? Since tomorrow's your day off, just stay at a hotel or something. Again. You've been having him over every day now recently. Don't you think anything of it? About what? This is my dad's condo anyways. I get to choose how I use it. That doesn't make cheating okay. My gosh, you're so... Gosh, you're so annoying. 
You married into this family, so you have no right to say anything. If you want, we can get a divorce, though. Are you sure? <laughs> then let's get a divorce. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean, let's get a divorce? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Besides, you were the one who brought it up. I can't handle this situation anymore, so divorce is fine. Wait, wait, what are you saying? You're just a son-in-law. You're my dad's successor, remember? If you divorce me, you're in trouble. I don't really care anymore. You might even be fired? If you're divorcing me, that's never going to be allowed. I don't care if I get fired. There are plenty of other jobs out there. But working with your dad was fun. So that's the one regret I'll have. Are you being serious? You finally have a chance to be the president of a company. You're letting it go? Excuse me, who do you think you are? You're the one who cheated and then brought up getting a divorce. I'm saying let's get a divorce, so you should be okay with that. I mean, I know, but I'm fine with getting a divorce too. But don't say anything to my dad, okay? I don't want things to get ugly. Don't say anything? Like, you know, the fact that I was seeing another guy. You seeing another guy. You don't have to say anything. Just get a divorce already. You don't have to tell me twice. I already have the divorce papers and I'm going home to pack my things. Can you sign the papers while I pack? Wait, now? Hey, Brody! What the heck is this? Hey, are you listening? Don't ignore me! Answer me! We're already divorced. I don't think there's any need to keep communicating. I don't care about that! More importantly, what's this that just arrived? What do you mean, Alimony? Why do I have to pay that? And $75,000! That's just crazy! What's so crazy about it? I now know everything. So I talked to my lawyer and I had him give me an estimate. And it came out to be 75 grand. I can't pay that kind of money. I quit my job at my dad's company when I got married to you. I don't give a damn. If you have time to make excuses, pay up. This is crazy! Fine, then I'll have my dad cover the alimony. You could have taken over the company if you had just kept your mouth shut and played husband. He's already abandoned you. What? Abandoned? What are you talking about? Your dad, who you've been relying on all this time? You intend on having him pay for the $75,000 alimony? Didn't you know your dad's cut you off? What do you mean? How do you even know this? What do you mean how? What do you mean, how? He told me in person. He said, I don't consider her my daughter anymore. Even if she were in trouble, I swear I'll never help her. You had it coming. You cheated and did unthinkable things. Now, your own parents have abandoned you. Daddy abandoned me? That would never happen. He's always listened to me. When I told him that we were getting a divorce because of your cheating, he lowered his head and started to cry and said, My daughter has done an unthinkable thing. Please forgive me. What? My dad apologized and you didn't forgive him? That's horrible! What are you talking about? I was never mad at your dad to begin with. You're the one who should be apologizing. That's true, but... I let you marry me. It should have been fine since you were going to be president. Oh my gosh, you really don't think you did anything wrong. I'm so glad you're disgusting 
from the bottom of my heart. This way, I have no regrets about getting divorced. Don't get on my nerves! Getting all cozy with my dad! Oh, by the way, the condo that you think you're so entitled to live in? Your dad terminated the contract. What? What do you mean? Wasn't the contract under your dad's name? Your dad said he terminated the contract when we got divorced. So, you only have a week left to live there? One week? Wait, that's too short! Also, he said that he would never again support you financially. So, good luck on your own from now on. Wait, don't say that. I can't do that. You can and you will. But you'll be fine. You have lots of guys. Why don't you ask them for help? Well, I guess they can't help you either since they have their hands full with alimony too. No! Well, goodbye for real this time. Just to let you know, I will never let you get away from paying alimony. Lisa contacted every one of her boyfriends to ask if they would pay her alimony for her, but couldn't get in touch with a single person. Lisa then rented out a 50-year-old apartment room since she had no savings, and is now working every day. It looks like she has her hands full trying to pay off her debt and make a living, which doesn't leave her a whole lot of time for messing around with guys. As for me, I still work at my ex-father-in-law's company. I was glad to hear that I wouldn't be let go. I'm just glad to finally be out of the living hell I was going through with my ex-wife. 